Okay, it's been four months now since I've been for treatment in Moscow with Swiss Medica. Um, I've improved dramatically. Um, my main symptoms before I went to Moscow was my walking was very poor. I'd have to walk with a stick, I couldn't walk very far. Uh, my balance was quite poor. Um, fatigue was a massive one. I'd have to rest um, and, and recover. Um, I'd get dizzy when I'd get tight, fatigued um, and lightheaded. I'd get vertigo when I'd get fatigued. Um, my right arm would go lazy and I'd find it hard to pick things up. Obviously, just my cognitive function um, when I was fatigued would be poor. Even while I wasn't fatigued, that wasn't much better. Um, <clears throat> so those were my main symptoms. Heat as well. If, I, if my core temperature would get a little bit too hot, I'd get dizzy. I'd feel sick, nauseated. Um, in bed, if I, I found it hard to sleep because my legs were always tingling, I'd either be absolutely burning in bed or, or freezing. And there was no happy medium in between. Since I've come back four months later from Moscow, my walking's improved considerably. I don't really um, get fatigued, I get tired. That's because I'm exercising as a normal person, um, but I don't get fatigued. My cognitive functions better, so my memory's improved. My concentration's improved a lot. I'm not stumbling over my words. Um, my right arm doesn't get lazy anymore, which is great. I can grab things and hold them. And my dizziness and vertigo is pretty much gone. I used to suffer a lot with headaches as well or head pains, um, which would last between eight and 20 seconds, just a sharp sort of ice pick pain in my head. Um, that ha doesn't really happen anymore. Um, the only time it does is when I've overdone it by pushing myself to my limits too much. I'm pretty much, as I call, um, back to normality. So that's, that's great, absolutely. Amazing. I'm more active now, should I say, and I can do um, things like walk the dog twice a day. Um, I walk her for a mile or two each walk. I'm going to the gym, I'm using my home gym uh, once, maybe twice a day as well. I've got to go swimming again, whereas before the sensation of the water on my legs was a bit painful. Now, um, it's still not normal, but it's bearable and I can swim. Um, I even started jogging on the treadmill. I only did five to 10 minutes, but when, you were, when you've been walking with a stick for two to three years, like it feeling like you're 70 years old, um, jogging is a massive, massive thing for me. Um, I've got a snowboarding holiday booked at the end of March, so the end of next month. So I'm hoping that my legs will be strong enough to take me to the Alps and back. You went to a firework display as soon as we got back from Moscow. I did, yeah. Something that you're never able to do because of the noise and the lights and the bangs and everything. Yeah. Uh, you so went to a rugby match, which is something you've never been able to do because you don't like being in a crowd, especially the, the noises. Crowd. Um, yeah, the noise you've is been attempting bowling, which is something you weren't able to do because your your balance and this yes. you didn't have the strength to lift the ball up. The strength to do it. Um, there's virtually nothing now that you can't actually do. So I mean, I can do everything I want to do now, which is the important thing. <laughs> and if we just discuss what happened in Moscow, when we arrived at the airport, we were met at the airport um, and taken in a minivan minibus to the clinic, which is in the outskirts of Moscow. The journey was about half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Ben's room was very much more like a hotel room than a hospital room. Um, had its own ensuite bathroom, television, etc. The treatment started at 8.30 in the morning after breakfast and consisted of usually intravenous um, infusions of 
we're not quite sure what, but we believe it's amino acids and vitamins to try and help bring his strength up. And in the afternoon, it was usually the stem cells, again, through intravenous infusion. Um, and that happened pretty much every day for 10 days. We could see Ben's progress, literally day by day, you're improving, uh, eating better, your appetite was coming back, you're more mobile, pretty much on a daily basis. You're also, your sense of humor was starting to come back and you were able to laugh and um, chat with the staff. Um, so we could actually watch the progress literally day by day. And it's carried on ever since we've got back and you're still improving, which is lovely to see. So I walk my dog um, twice a day, um, up and down hills. Um, I walk around a mile and a half to two miles twice a day. I also go to the gym. I go to the gym about three, time, three four times a week with my friends. Um, and we, we also go swimming, which it was, I wasn't able to do. Um, while I'm in the gym, not only do I do weights, I do cardio exercises where before I would overheat, get dizzy and um, feel like passing out. Whereas now I can go on the rowing machine for um, 10 minutes, I can go cycling for 10 minutes, um, I can lift weights if I want to. Um, when I come home, I've got a gym in my spare room. Um, I started lifting, started bench pressing uh, 10 kilograms. I'm now up to 55 is, is my maximum I can lift at the moment, but I'm constantly improving. Um, and I don't get tired, I don't get dizzy, I don't overheat. So all those symptoms that I was suffering with before have vanished. And apart from getting tired, not fatigued, just tired, um, that would be the only thing but that's expected from absolutely everyone if they do exercise. I'm really happy um, with all the, all the improvements and the progress uh, that I've had. I used to really enjoy driving. And then obviously where I had MS, it was just um, a day-to-day -day sort of, can I get to the shop? Is it busy outside? Am I, have I got enough energy to, to do it? Um, whereas now I'll just jump in the car and go to whatever destination I need to go to. I'm happy with um, all my improvements. I'm happy with not having any symptoms and um, living life like a normal person now. So once again, thank you to Swiss Medica and for everyone that helped me to get there.